Hello, hello, and welcome back to Burrows. We are still here with Atri. <laughs> still don't know how to pronounce that. I'll probably probably be done recording this uh, chapter by the time I can read comments. So I'll learn about it afterwards, I guess, if anyone else knows how to actually pronounce this lad's name. Not that comments are really ever help me, because it's like, I don't know, I'm reading text, and I'm like, well, I still don't know how that's pronounced. <clears throat> Both of us are astounded at how swift he can move while blindfolded. He manages to avoid trip hazards with ease, even things we would normally miss. He's occasionally paused. But he occasionally paused and sniffed the air for a few seconds before quickly darting past, uh, wait, quickly darting in a seemingly random direction. Also, I found some more cough drops, so I won't have to run to the store. Unfortunately, these ones are like cherry flavored, which are of course like the worst cough drops. I prefer honey lemon, because those almost taste like candy. While the cherry ones are like, this is an assault to the senses. I don't like that. Fritz told us to go straight, but uh, at Reeves is leading us in a, in a winding path. Uh, could he have been wrong, or is this actually a straight path and something is messing with us? I try to cover my eyes and walk a, a few steps blind. You can't be serious. So far, so good. If I keep this up, maybe I'll run into a tree. No, and, uh, into Atri. And walk straight into Atri's back. Who goes there? He sniffs around before chuckling, bumping me back with his ass. Ah, oh, watch yourself, Mr. American. This is a bumpy road. S sorry. Hero, uh, I hear here a scoff under his breath as he t as he uh, tugs my shirt, signaling me to lend uh, an ear. This guy's leading us in circles. I'll, I've uh, taken this route many times by many times by now, and it's a straight walk, just as Fritz said. And nothing like that noise from earlier ever happened. What noise? His insistent shouting. No, come on. You know what I'm talking about. Those crazy buzzing set voices. I get yanked back. He stopped walking. You heard him, right? There's no way. You hear everything. I didn't hear anything like that, Gray. Fuck. Uh, he must think I dropped him and uh, ran for no reason. Hero, I swear I wouldn't make that up. Uh, not after what we've been through. We? You know, in the Golden Place. Shit, no. Please tell me you know who I am. You're... Grey. Yes, and you know that because... I... His eyes dart around, uh, searching for an answer. I don't know. I just do. He kicks the ground, uh, frustrated at his lack of reasoning. Are you sure you didn't mention it when we first met? Positive. And you didn't react to me knowing your name either. I can't come up with an explanation. Maybe because you uh, sort of looked like our... No, no, uh, that's impossible. And besides... He sighs deeply and smiles at me, uh, melting away my anxiety. Something tells me we're supposed to have met. I feel like I already knew you, too. Heh, <laughs> not very scientific. Maybe not, but I'm comfortable with you already. Hero. More comfort than usual, for a stranger and a westerner to boot. I'm sure being in these uh, foreign lands makes him feel pretty isolated at times. At least we can finally communicate properly. If you two are done making weird sounds, <coughs> excuse me, we're here. Al already? 
so he wasn't hopeless after all. Told you. I guess he, um, understood Hero's tone very well. He ducks past some low trees, and we follow, uh, one at a time, as I guide Hero over the branches. I notice his cuts co are covered in dirt and, and debris. The shit, uh, must have, uh, been from the fall. It's okay. I doubt it's been long enough for an infection to start. But, uh, either way, uh, Petra's gonna give, uh, give me hell for this. That, that the doctor? Odd name. Yes, it suits her perfectly, I'm afraid. I ponder that as we emerge from the forest, stepping onto a familiar dirt road. Ah, okay. Uh, it's almost as if someone had made an exact copy of the road leading into the forest and plopped it down at the exit, with no interest, no intention for uh, either to meet in the middle. Hattery removed his blindfold, wincing at the harsh light from the setting sun. Ah, oh, sweet freedom! Now I can get back, uh, get a good look at you two. He dramatically leans forward to look down at Hero, smirking. Well, I already knew this one, so nothing's new here. Very cute, as always. <laughs> uh, that leaves. He turns to me, nearly blinding me with his antlers. Ah, what are you supposed to be? I'm a possum. Is that a marsupial? My... This world is full of such... such diversity. Well, whatever you are, you're a handsome creature. Good on you, Mr. Gray. Well, at least he knows how to lay on the charm. He just needs to work on his volume. Thanks. Now, come on. Uh, we need to find this uh, Petra person. It's down this way. He clutches his chest and uh, falls to his knees. Hero? His bandages are uh, slick with blood again. This is bad. Uh, Apri. Uh, Apri looks petrified. That's too bad. I'll need his help. Apri. Yes. Help me. Of course. I prop Hero up from behind. Uh, careful not to uh, lift him by the armpits. I'll hold up, uh, wait. I'll hold up this end. You carry him by his feet. Legs, legs, leggies. We need to make sure there's no tension, uh, no tension on his chest. I gently fold his arms over his stomach, placing one of his hands over the other. He barely registers as lifting, us as, us lifting him. All right, I've got a steady hold. Let's go. I nod, and we carefully cart him down the steep hill, Atri uh, taking his time descending it, uh, descending it backwards. It's impossible to focus on any of the scenery. All I can do is keep my eye on him to make sure he's still conscious. Hey, we're almost there, okay? It's gonna be okay. Perhaps I was foolish. Save your energy, hero. We're at the gates, fellows. Curiosity briefly overrides my concern, and I glance at our new surroundings. Rows of simple homes are arranged in grids on either side of us, absent of any individuality or expression. The intrigues... wait... The intrigued uh, heads of the townsfolk poke out of the windows and alleyways. They're mostly well-dressed, albeit bruised and bandaged. What surprises me the most is the amp the absence of children playing on the streets. This can't be a good place to raise a family. Father told me these uh, company towns about these company towns, but I never imagined they'd be so bleak. I guess everyone here works for uh, Zeppelin in some fashion. The sky above swirls with black smoke, billowing out of a blacksmith's forge. My eyes start to water, and I blink the tears away, unwilling to drop Hero again for any reason. A little one, uh, tell us where Miss, uh, Miss Petra resides. We're currently in Town Square. 
He's quiet. I shake him until he responds, half asleep. She, uh, two blocks to the left. The onlookers uh, come closer, uh, gawking at us, uh, hoisting his limbs, his limp body uh, through the streets. I can only, wait, I can understand them now, all of them. Oh no, what happened to the poor boy? They keep coming back from that airship worse and worse. That blasted American has no regard for our uh, well-being. A hero, he fixed my bicycle. Uh, poor lad, uh, they treated us bad enough, let alone the foreigners. Uh, may God strike it all down. These town folks are so warm to him, at least compared to everyone at the warehouse. I wonder how long he's been here. A deep growl breaks through the town chatter and grabs my attention. Ah, another mongrel dragged onto my doorstep. Wonderful! Uh, we're here. I look up. A, um, a mature lioness is growling out at the out of the window, a floor above us. Okay. Uh, you must, uh, be the good doctor this boy mentioned. Hello, we... She rolls her eyes and slams the shutters closed. Are you sure this is the right place, hero? We, st we strain our ears at the muffled sounds of someone descending a staircase, more angry mumbling. All right. What is it this time? A broken bones. A tetanus. A bottle up the arse. Uh, come on, I don't have up to all day. A hero lets out a raspy cough, uh, grabbing her attention. Ah, uh, I had a feeling this might happen. Uh, come in. So you're his doctor, then? Another eye roll. Not on paper, rodent. I am Dr. Pet... Wait. Petronella? De Lang... Petra. Uh, it, if you must shorten it. Marsupial. It's nice to meet you, miss. You will call me doctor. Uh, this woman's cold as ice. Regardless, uh, could you strapping young men make yourselves useful and carry him into my examination room? She turns and walks back inside before either of us could answer. This is a mild reaction for her. Uh, Atri, uh, what do you make of this doctor? He grunts, inquisitively, as he lifts Hero up by the feet again. Uh, certainly no profession. Uh, wait, a uh, pro- yeah. Certainly no profession uh, for a frail woman. Uh, but frail she is not. Ooh, what a nice, what a nice abode. Uh, we carry Hero inside and uh, groan. Uh, nothing but a set of stairs greeting us. All right, remember to breathe. Uh, here we go. What kind of clinic makes sick, pe sick people walk upstairs? I can carry my back. I can feel my back start to ache. Yeah, ache already. I really don't want to uh, become this woman's patient as well. We reach the top of the carefully minute the top and carefully maneuver Hero over to an examination table, uh, surrounded by wooden trays. The room itself is sieged by all manner of plants and uh, flowers. A particularly long spider plant uh, curls down onto a desk, which itself is scattered in, yeah, covered in scattered documents. She sits at another desk, uh, sipping coffee. The lad needs your att uh, the lad needs your attention, doctor. She glances our way and finishes her coffee, sighing in satisfaction. She seems to contemplate something before shaking her head and grabbing a pair of surgical gloves out of a bag. All right, good work. Now, let's take a look at the damages he's done. Why are you so certain it was his fault? She rolls, yeah, she rolls her chair in our direction, almost running over my tail. Do you think this is the first time? A pseudo-rodent? I really don't like her. I- sorry, it was an emergency. 
She nods, uh, pouting at him in a mocking way. Hmm. And now this, uh, uh, this elective, wait, elective a surgery has turned into an emergency as well. This will sting. She, gr she drips a cotton ball into a jar and without hesitation, presses it uh, directly into his wounds. He starts squirming and Petra motions for uh, Atri to hold him down. Hey! Better to get the hard part over with. I need to eliminate any chance of infection before repairs, before repairing these stitches. She glances at the uh, ready, uh, ready clothes and dirty, at uh, the dirty fur. What did you do? A dragon here with an open wound, no less. It's a long story. I see. I doubt it would change the urgency of the situation anyway. Hero settles down, and she grabs a pair of scissors off a, ne a nearby table. I'm going to start removing the bandages. Do you want these two here during the procedure? He looks around, uh, beads of sweat rolling down his face. I... N no. I want to be alone. All right, we'll be downstairs, okay? Uh, come on, Atri. Die. Uh, good luck, little one. I wave goodbye and suddenly head down, uh, head down to the foyer. Atri follows behind, uh, quieter than usual. He'll be o okay, right? I can only pray. For now, I must return home. I, I take it you'll be staying in this town for a while, yes? It's not like I have anywhere else to go for the moment, so I nod. If I see you around, is it okay to talk some more? Of course! Uh, you're quite the inquisitive fellow, Gray. Well, I'll be seeing you. Uh, God be with you. And also with you. Damn it, there I go again. He departs, leaving me alone with my thoughts. None of this makes any sense. That much I've come to terms with. Everything about this place has felt off since I arrived here. Even... Even basic things like architect architecture or cars look just different enough to give me pause. If I'm really, if I'm really to believe that uh, Todd fellow, he magically granted me the power to understand other languages. He did say I need to uh, make. Wait, he did say I needed it to make any progress here. That must mean I'm uh, not in America anymore. Virgil, he sent me to the Golden Place, so it's not impossible that he could place me anywhere he wants. The voice uh, asked me to pick one, and I followed Hero because... Because... I linger on that thought as his muffled screams echo from upstairs. He just make... He just makes me want to protect him. <coughs> oh god. I know that's stupid. He's both str uh, stronger and smarter than I am. He's managed to keep his position as an engineer in a foreign land, even though the company couldn't care less about him. Even knowing that, the idea that I could be someone he relies on is comforting. And a little intoxicating. Uh, like that moment from earlier. God, I hope he forgives me. It's like something reached inside me to flip a switch, sending me into a, a heat well off well out of season. Only if he lets you, Gray. Only if he lets you. When he... No, no, if. Lord, I've never felt this way about someone so quickly. He didn't remember the Golden Place, but he still positive... Uh, wait, positively about me. Feels positively about me. Even without those memories, he's the only thing keeping me grounded. So I need to be strong for him, no matter what. The clock on the walls show an hour past. That shows an hour past. The sounds of pain have diminished, and I uh, casually, uh, I cautiously venture upstairs to peek my head in. All right. I think that'll be enough for this part, so I will uh, see you around, everyone. <laughs>